Hello, and welcome to Surging Ahead, your home for autonomy, electric vehicles, and renewable energy. This is Brett, and today we're going to go ahead and talk about the CEO of Waymo stepping down. So in a blog post released on April 2nd of 2021, John Krafik, the CEO of Waymo, announced he was stepping down to be succeeded by co-CEOs Takedra Mawakanda and former the former COO and Dmitry Dolgov, the former CTO. John has been the CEO of Waymo since December 2016 and has done a lot to try to bring that company into profitability and make it into an actual business as Alphabet has kind of desired out of all of its subsidiaries. So uh, his blog post is not extremely long, so let's go ahead and read through it, and then we'll kind of come back and discuss what he said and what we think is going on. So on April 2nd, 2021, John Krachik, the former CEO of Waymo, posted um, to the Waymo blog um, his uh, resignation here. Um, and so since it's relatively short, I'll just go ahead and read it to everyone here. Um, so it starts off, Dear Waymo Knots, after five and a half exhilarating years leading this team, I've decided to depart from my CEO role with Waymo and kick off new adventures. To start, I'm looking forward to a refresh period, reconnecting with old friends and family, and discovering new parts of the world, and I'll continue to say, serve as an advisor to Waymo. As you expand the world's first autonomous public ride-hailing service, Waymo One, and ramp our autonomous delivery product via Waymo Via. Going forward, two extraordinary leaders, Dmitry Dolgov and Takeda Mawakana, will take the helm at Waymo as co-CEOs. Takeda and Dmitry are an incredibly talented pair who are ideally suited for this moment. Waymo's new co-CEOs bring complementary skills, sets, and experiences, most recently as COO and CTO respectively, and have already been working together in close partnership for years in top executive positions at Waymo. Dimitri and Takeda have my full confidence support, and of course, the full confidence of Waymo's board and Alphabet's leadership. My team leading Waymo has been around has been the capstone to my career. Together we've achieved remarkable firsts as we develop, deploy, and commercialize our fully autonomous Waymo driver and work to make our roads safer and mobility more accessible. The Waymo driver has driven autonomously tens of millions of miles on public roads across 25 U.S. cities and more than 20 million miles in simulation. Safety gets anyone in Phoenix safely gets anyone in Phoenix with the Waymo One app to their destinations across thousands of miles each week and is unlocking convenience and scale for our local delivery and freight partners through Waymo Via. We launched Waymo as an independent Alphabet subsidiary, partnered with an amazing group of OEM supplier and service companies, and raised our first external investment round of $3.25 billion. As co-CEOs, Takeda and Dimitri will continue to drive Waymo's technical and business leadership in the rapidly advancing autonomous industry. Waymo Knots, you are the strongest, smartest, most experienced, and most capable team of the space. Thank you for entrusting me with this place of our journey and for taking care of our next chapter. It has been the greatest privilege of my life to serve on this mission together with you. Keep pioneering, JK. And then continuing on at the bottom, we have our note from Dimitri and Takeda. John, thanks for all you have come and amazing. Thanks for you. Thanks to you, we have come an amazing distance together since you first served the team now five and a half years ago. Huge thanks to you for your partnership along the way as we've advanced Waymo's state-of-the-art autonomous driving tech, our autonomous ride-hailing and delivery businesses, and your guiding hand as we chart our ambitious future. We're grateful you will be staying on as an advisor. Waymo Knots, as we start this next chapter together, we could not be more excited and grateful to have the opportunity to lead this team and company as your co-CEOs. We're committed to working alongside you to build and commercialize the Waymo driver and drive success of our incredible team and this company. 
We're energized by the road and opportunity ahead of us. Thank you for your passion, your world-class contributions, and your confidence in us as we lead Waymo forward together. Dimitri and Takedra. All right, so there you have it. That's his uh, quick resignation post. Um, so I don't want to directly speculate um, on his reasons for stepping down, uh, but I do think it's interesting timing. Um, as John's background is kind of in the automotive business side of the house and not the autonomous slash AI engineering side, um, you know, it, it seems interesting to me that he's stepping down just as the company's starting to scale out into more areas and be more of something you want from that business perspective on negotiating the the legalities and the contracts for getting additional automobiles and stuff like that. Um, and maybe less on the specifics around figuring out the engineering slash technology side of the house. So, um, you know, as I said, they've kind of begun expanding out. Uh, they just recently started testing out, I believe it was February 17th of this year. They started testing their Waymo ride hailing service in a small section of San Francisco. Um, which, I mean, that's, uh, that's a dense, complicated driving area that's hard for humans. Um, so it'll be really interesting, I guess, kind of to see how, uh, Waymo is able to, uh, to move forward with that. But I mean, it's, it's really ambitious. So if they're able to do San Francisco, uh, that does, I think, bode well for their ability to scale out beyond just their first cities. So, um, yeah, so it is it's interesting to me that they are doing this, um, that is stepping down now. So, um, kind of a little bit about John, um, and what he's done. Uh, he joined Waymo in, uh, 2017 or uh, that's not accurate. He took over as CEO in 2017, um, and kind of some of his crowning achievements, I guess, were, with striking kind of business deals with, uh, with various car manufacturers, um, and even Lyft to, to provide some service. Um, and you know, through all of his car manufacturing deals, he was looking at ordering 82,000 vehicles, but, uh, it looks like they have, and I quote this from Ars Technica, well over 600 vehicles currently deployed. So, um, you know, most of these 82,000 vehicles were procured or, or deals for them were struck in 2018 and we're now a third of the way through 2021 and they're significantly kind of under where I believe they thought they would be right now. So the rollout has been kind of slow, but as I just mentioned, it does look like they're finally starting to expand and hit other areas. Um, and really I think that's when someone with his leadership skills would be the most valuable. So. I, it's interesting to me. Um, but it looks like going forward, uh, we're going to have co-CEOs at Waymo, um, which I think is another interesting decision. Um, you're looking at the COO and CTO both sharing that responsibility. And I think they have probably some differing ideas of what a successful Waymo looks like. Um, and I, you know, I know Google at one point had co-CEOs, but I think they were strongest when it was, you know, when Larry and Sergey kind of stepped aside to allow Eric Schmidt to pilot the uh, the ship and kind of lead them in a single direction. And I think they have been strongest when they had that single voice leading them forward. And I question what having these two divergent opinions will do to Waymo as it looks to try to become or remain, I guess, depending on your opinion, the leader in autonomy. Um, so it's very interesting. Um, not a whole lot of public information. There's, there's some speculation out there, but I really don't want to get into that. I just kind of wanted to talk about what we know to be true and what's, what's happening. And yeah. So, uh, I don't know. Once again, I think it's very interesting. I wish Waymo success. I think it's cool to have more entrants in the market and they have been seen by many people as the leader in the space. So when something like this happens, it's always curious on what's going on. Um, 
anyway, that's all I have today. So let me know what you think. Uh, if any feedback, I welcome. So this has been Brett with Surging Ahead. Thanks and have a great day.